hello everyone. Attention please, we are about to start our meeting. Please make yourself comfortable. Uh, while waiting, we suggest you to join our Google Classroom. Uh, the code is available on the group chat. Mm -hmm. There you can find resources about our webinar. Uh, also, you can follow our Telegram channel. Uh, I will also put the link on the group chat. Okay, so I am your moderator. Uh, I wanted to say welcome to everyone to our second episode of Edupersonal Webinar Beyond the Class. Today, the title of our webinar is Transforming Presentation into Classroom Conversation, which will be presented by Mr. Adekiki Ruswandi. Uh, Mr. Kiki is the head of math department in Edupersonal, and he also teaches high school and junior high school math in Peabody Depot. Uh, so, how are you, Mr. Kiki? Alhamdulillah, can you hear my voice, uh, yes. Mazuria? Okay, I can hear you clearly. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, How many okay, participants right, do we have now? Now we have 33 participants, including okay. Okay. Now 35. Let me see. Okay, uh, before we start, I'd like to inform you that today's webinar will be accompanied by peer deck session. So, if you want, you can join the session and interact with Mr. Kiki's live. A life, yeah. To join, uh, you can go to joinpd.com in your internet browser. Joinpd.com in, in your internet browser, and there you can insert the code. Uh, the code will be written on the screen, Mr. Kiki. Can you see my screen, Pasuri? Okay. Okay. Uh, before we start our session, uh, you can join our peer deck session by going to joinpd.com in your web browser and type IGGLT. Uh, okay, there you can interact with Mr. Kiki's uh, presentation live. All right. Uh, if you have additional device, you can enter the session there. But if you don't, maybe you can split your view into two windows, one for Zoom and another for the peer deck session. Okay then, without further ado, Mr. Kiki, the time is yours. Yeah, thank you, Pak Surya. Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, I hope I hope everyone is fine. So, welcome to our second webinar. Uh, let me introduce myself again. My name is Kiki. Uh, I am a math teacher in Pribadi Depok. So. Three, week, three weeks ago, it was my first time conducting online learning. So, like any of you, I faced some problems. So, one of the one of my biggest problems is that I couldn't uh, have a efficient conversation with my students. Sometimes, when I try to ask something, my students' uh, internet connection is unstable. I couldn't I couldn't hear his voice, etc. So, so until I uh, use this field deck presentation. I can have a good conversation with my with my students. Okay, so before we really start the uh, presentation, I want you to go to this website and enter this following code. Okay. Up until now, we have 14 students connected to the 14 participants. Okay, but maybe they can join uh, later. Okay. Okay, in the previous webinar, we discussed about Zoom and Google Classroom. So, Zoom is one of the most popular teleconferencing tools, which uh, help us to do the face-to-face -face meeting. Okay, and then we have also Google Classroom last week. Uh, this kind of website is useful for us to administering the course, uh, give sharing material, materials, etc. We have also other examples here, CISO, Edmodo. This kind of website is called Learning Management System. So, I prefer to say it social learning network. So, it's more like face, Facebook to us. So, we post something and then our students see uh, the materials that we share. And then the third type of uh, website, uh, we call them, we can say it electronic books. So, this kind of website provide content for us, material for us, or maybe simulation like uh, Khan Academy, CK12, etc. 
And then the next type of website, we call them student engagement platform. And one of them is Firdek. So they don't do teleconferencing tools, they, they don't do uh, management, management system, and they don't give us also content. So this kind of uh, website is useful to engage our student in our classroom. Okay, so we will talk more about Firdek now. So before I start, let me see how many of you already know about the Pildex. So maybe if you know already uh, use Pildex, maybe we can skip some basic uh, information related to Pildex. I want you to uh, answer this question in your Pildex presentation. Okay, let's see your response. For example, out of 23 participants, 13 of you are the answer. Okay, you can see it from the Zoom screen that I, that I share. So 13 of you hasn't, didn't know about Peer Deck yet. So this is this kind of question is good for you to start the lesson so that we can know uh, prior knowledge of our students. And we can see the response easily even we have for example 30 students we don't have to ask them one by one okay there are 28 or oh, let me give you for example another 30 seconds to answer this question you can also give some time like this okay most of you haven't tried so when the time is finished, they will directly lock your, the student screen, so you cannot enter the response anymore. So it's good for a student to look back uh, in our Zoom screen and then you can explain something. Here. So the next one, I want to know what kind of device are you using to participate in this presentation? Yeah, most of you use laptop. Let me share the response. Most of you use laptop, which is good, so that you can split uh, the screen, one of them for presentation, one of them for Zoom, because uh, we will use both of them at the same time. Yes, we have 30 responses here. Yes, I think it's enough. So yeah, this is like some illustration about the screen. So basically I divide my presentation into three different sessions. The first one, we'll talk a bit about active learning. And then the second one, we will experience how Field Deck works as students. Actually, you already started from the beginning of the uh, presentation. And then we will talk about the benefit uh, both of Field Deck, both for teachers and students. And in the last session, we will be together creating and presenting a presentation together in my Zoom screen. So it's more like tutorial. Okay. Let's move to the first session. Okay. I want to know how do you define active learning? Because one uh, peer deck is uh, a tool for us to conducting active learning. But what do you know about active learning? So let me give you, for example, one minute to answer this question. Most of you still typing. So here we can see our students' responses. We can choose to show it to the screen or not. Let's wait. Okay, so for example, let's let's show the response. Okay, here are some of the response. Giving the student the chance to improve themselves by adjusting our teaching to suit their needs. Yes. You know better than me, I guess. 
Okay. So we can also choose one of the best uh, example, for example, to show to students. We can choose this one and this one, for example. So we can only show two of them to our students. For example, active learning is learning that is conducted by one too many people that engage at the same time. It's not finished, I guess. So this is this is what you think what we think about active active learning. Okay. One of my favorite uh, definition for active learning is given by Scott Freeman. So active learning means uh, engage students in the process of learning through activity or can be a discussion discussion inside the classroom. So uh, when you uh, when you listen to somebody explaining about something, the learning doesn't occur yet. So learning occur when you do something about what has been talked about about the content. So it emphasizes uh, critical thinking and then often required a group work. But according to the research, only 68% of teachers use active learning. How about the rest? What happened to the teach? Why don't they use uh, active learning? Maybe one of the problem is that they did not really know the benefit of conducting active learning. So here are the benefits uh, according to research conducted by Scott Freeman. Uh, they researched two different classes. Uh, so. Uh, same teacher, one teacher explained two different classes with different methods. So, and then they uh, compare the result. Uh, the class which uh, using active learning method, they have a better score. And then the number, the gap between males and female score also being reduced. So, th these are the benefits of learning, active learning. So, when we were a child, when we learned how to ride a bike, okay, we can ride a bike not because somebody theoretically explained how to ride a bike, right? So, we try and then we failed and then we try again until we master it. So, I think this is the best illustration about uh, active learning. The next question is that how can we, how can we conduct active learning in our uh, online learning in our remote learning so we will see peer deck as one of the option one of the alternative for this one so okay let me ask you the question again because the topics for today's seminar is transforming presentation into classroom conversation so we, I will ask a lot to you and then the next question is that I want to know how often do you prepare slide presentation for your classroom? Can you answer? Yeah, you can. We can see here 16 of you already answer out of 44 responses. Uh, let me show also you the response. So we can see something like this. So yeah, most of you use presentation. Some of you didn't really use presentation so we can see the the plot here about how many students uh, answer for example so I think mo most biology teacher will use presentation a lot because they have to explain a lot a lot of materials in the such a short time so presentation helps a lot okay thank you so I think most of you, you prepare presentation for the classroom slide presentation I mean so we can also see the response here by one by one okay the next one which platform do you usually use to prepare your presentation we have PowerPoint we have Google slide we have office 365 or even keynote and we have also other platform. So most of you use PowerPoint, Google Slide, only one of you. So
Pak Surya, yeah, there there are a lot of chat in our Zoom chat. Do do you have any question? Okay. So most of you use PowerPoint. Okay. The good thing is that uh, Peer Day can integrate with Microsoft PowerPoint, with Google Slide, and with Office 365. So if you already have your uh, what is it presentation, you can present them in Peer Deck. Okay. Here are the Peer Deck flow. So firstly, you make your Peer Deck account and then you prepare the presentation. You can also use pre-made template there. So we already have a lot of template there. We can just choose of them and then edit, edit it uh, as we like. And then we can present it in Peer Deck. And then during the class, you can see student response and student response are shown anonymously. So students uh, need not to be afraid about being called by writing their answer. So we can also highlight some good example. We can also highlight misconceptions so that we each student can learn from others. And at the end of the session, we can also get a what is it the cumulative response for all students so at the end of the session you can see your student response for each question and then you can take a look and then give feedback maybe if you need so this is how field of field x work i think it's very useful for me as a teacher so in our field deck there are three there are five different interactive question types uh, it can be draggable, drawing, numerical response, text response, or multiple choice. So we will see the implement implementation of these five interactive question. Uh, it can be used in several subjects. And we can also see how do we manage the result in this session. Okay, let me start. Okay, so this is the first type of interactive question from Peer Deck. Uh, so students are being asked to uh, drag the icon to the to the correct continent. So it's from social science, I guess. Yeah, maybe you can try to answer it if you want. Okay. So we can use this kind of question in our field. Deck. So here we can see the response for our students. We can see it. If you see my zoom screen here up on the left we have three different uh, symbols here the first one is the list laid out so here we can see all of our student uh, resp response here so if you scroll scroll down you can see each of the response and then in the second one we have here grid layout so if you choose this we can see quickly each of our, our student response uh, here in a grid view okay it's still loading but I think it's fine and then the third one here we have what we call overlay layout so they compile all the answer in one single paper in one single lay layer so here we can see some uh, misconception here for example why they put uh, Africa somewhere in here so we can see oh let me lock the screen first so that they don't change it again so this is for example the final answer you cannot uh, input another response so here we can see some misconception here so we can tell that this one is incorrect blah 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 etc okay uh, next type of question this one this is taken from history class i guess so still druggable type of question they are being asked to order this okay some of you already respond eight of you already respond but it's okay you don't have to answer this is just a sample so it's a good thing that field deck can in field deck we can do this kind of activity okay there are 55 responses here Okay, I think we done. Let's see the response, for example. Here, it's still. 
Okay, so most of the most of you still empty. For example, we can wait, open, or we can see some specific student. They are confused. They look confused, etc. So this is very useful if we use it in our classroom. Okay, let's see to the next slide. Sorry, I have to move it to the next slide. The next slide it's from biology. Okay, this is the second type of interactive question in Peer Deck. It's drawing, so students can draw anywhere here. Uh, okay, for example, in this question, students are being asked to name part of a bee, wing, antenna, head, leg, etc. Okay, can you draw it? Do you have, do you have any problem with your field presentation? I think no. Let's see. Twenty of you already start answering this question. I wonder. If, I want to see how are your responses. Okay. Yeah. Let me find a good example for you. Somebody is trying to answer this one. Is this, this one? So, after everybody finish answering, of course you can show the response. So while everybody is trying, let's not to show the response. But yeah, this is for example. This is head. This is transparent wing, etc. You can all. You don't have to draw your text. You can also insert text there. So in drawing table, you can also insert text. So if it's hard for you to write manually, you can type it. Okay. For example, somebody using that feature. This one. They write like here. Okay. Let's move to another example. Okay, this one, for example, this is taken from language courses, so this is fill in the blanks kind of activity, right? So students need to choose the correct word to be put here, so we can do something like this again. Well, I don't know what language it is, I take it from the template. Okay, let's move to the next one. It's still drawing a type of question actually. We can move to the next one. This is more like matching activity. So you have to match uh, the correct answer with the question. Okay, we can also do something like this. So you just choose this template and then write the question in the middle and then write the answer, the option of answer on the right. That's all. It's super easy to prepare uh, the presentation here. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. I need to move again. Okay, you don't have to answer this one. This is just a sample. The next one it's from chemistry. It's still drawing type of question. Okay, fill in the missing information. So you have to answer some empty empty element here, for example. So we can use fill like in this kind of activity. Okay. Okay, let's move to the next one. Uh, it's still drawing activity. Okay. So, if you are chemistry teacher, please draw the correct answer so that I can show it, show it to other participants. How many electrons do we have in hydrogen? How many proton, for example? Nobody answer. Okay, somebody is trying to answer. Okay. 19 of you try to answer for example so you can see how many students not answering this question okay uh, let's move to the next one okay it's second from math courses math course so you are you, you ask your students to draw uh, an equation don't forget you can draw a line okay you don't have to draw manually so it doesn't look like a line so there is an option there that you can draw a straight line can you find it yeah for example this one let me show you some of your responses okay this one okay like this okay okay next uh, next example 
it's still drawing question we can also give question and then give some space for answering the question okay you don't have to answer it maybe it's too complicated for you <laughs> okay nice we can also see our student respond in my other screen so i didn't show it to you but i can see your response in other screen next one okay this one this is the third type of uh, interactive question in beer deck so students are being asked to enter a number okay we already have that this example at the beginning of the presentation i guess so the good thing about this one that we can see the plot something like this so how many of you answer 10 so we can conclude something from here for example okay let's move to the next one we still have a lot of example this is more like uh, multiple choice so you you just have to create your slide and then you write the option uh, the option that you want and then that's all it's easy okay let let me show you the response most of you oh, use thing face here yeah. good okay the next one it's text responses okay so you ask them a question and then they have to type their answer okay they also prepare template like this so uh, at the beginning of the lesson you can use the template uh, so it's remind us what you have to do at the beginning of the lesson uh, and then at the end of the lesson they also prepare the template so it remind us as a teacher what we have to do at the end of the lesson for example asking them to write a summary maybe or reflect from their work for example so they remind us to do this kind of activity okay let me show you some responses okay you can use this one so we can see a lot of them if you ask your student to log in you can see your uh, the name of your student here but not in the slide in the slide it's anonymously but in other slide in my screen you can see the name for example uh, Paisak uh, trying to answer this question blah 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 okay next one uh, you can also enter a website here for example i took this from my, my mathematics course so i asked my student to investigate about parallelogram characteristic of parallelogram so i and i put here geogebra uh, website can you open the link there okay i guess everybody can open the link but one yes, thing yeah one thing uh, is that when you give a link to be open so you cannot ask the question at the same time so when you give a link in a slide so you cannot give interactive question that we have so we need to put it in the next slide okay for example this one i asked my student to write your result in the next slide okay so they analyze first the website they do some experiment there in GeoGebra and then they will answer it in the next slide, for example. I'm asking my student to find the characteristic of parallelogram there. Okay. Yeah, that's all what we can do uh, about the type of question. And then uh, PeerDeck also uh, allow us to open student face mode what what what, what does it mean student face mode so for now you cannot uh, navigate your slide right so it's changed directly uh, uh, it's it's posed in a slide right so if i open it now every student can move from one slide to another slide by their own so for example you can click the allow there you can move to the all to the slide by yourself so it this kind of uh, feature you can use it for homework for example you can make a homework in peer deck and then you send them the link and then you you can see the result at the end okay so this is good for homework too for giving quizzes 
and then it's good also for flip classroom okay in my dashboard here in the other dashboard i can see how many students in in, in the first slide for example i can see how many students in the second slide so i can see uh, what my students are doing in this slide okay okay let me close it again sorry and then we will move to the next one okay so at, at the end of the lesson when the session finish uh, the system will automatically uh, save all your student responses the, here are some of the example so the responses is uh, given in Google Docs okay so you can share it to your students and then at the same time you can also give some comment so you can put some comment in the Google Docs and you say that this is nice you can do better in the next uh, question in the next exam blah 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 so this is this feedback is very useful for us okay okay so before we move to the next session about how to do how to present a field deck how to prepare a field deck so let us summarize what field deck can do for us for us as a teacher okay so the first one is that by using peer deck so we can easily change from instruction to assessment for example i give some explanation and then after that i can do directly assessment because we as a teacher need to know what our student thinking about the topics right so peer deck also give give us a real time insight about what student thinking with our content okay we can also learn our student uh, weakness or strength or interest okay and then by using the by using the template given by peer deck uh, it also have teacher to know what you have to do during the transition between the activity for example they prepare uh, after activity after finishing activity you can do this slide blah 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 okay and then we can also give feedback by using student takeaway file so as students also PILDEC is very beneficial for them so they can actively participate uh, to the presentation for example they can directly answer from their own device and they don't have to worry about being called for an incorrect answer for example because when I view uh, in the projector view uh, no no name is written there it's anonymously so they don't have to be afraid okay and then by choosing highlighting some good example by choosing some misconception you the, every student can also learn from each other and then yeah they can also reflect about their work okay so that is all about peer deck let me hide this one for example between the session you can actually stand like this do you understand or do you still focus there are you still there so they can answer and then we can see the response here i mean can we continue to the next activity or not some of the template ask students like uh, do you want me to repeat the top uh, explanation or can we just continue so we can see uh, what student thinks about the topics okay okay so most of you good you still focus some of you still have problem so we can see who answered this one and then we can explain to them for example okay 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 now we move to the third session it's about how to create and present your own lesson so for this uh, after this slide you will be focused more on uh, the zoom screen okay we will use zoom screen more for now so you can put your appeal deck presentation somewhere else uh, but we will use it again at the end of the lesson but for now we can focus on the zoom screen okay we will learn how to create an account of the deck for example so to create an account you have to wait a minute you have to go to peerdeck.com and then here you will choose teacher login okay and then you will directly log in using your gmail account 
okay, it's easy. You don't have to fill uh, so many information. And then here are the Fairlake web page. They have three different types: home session and health. In home, we can create a lesson here. We can also explore some other activity here called Peer Deck Vocabulary. And then here we can see all of our previous presentation. Okay, this is the presentation from the previous one, for example. So we, if we click them, we can see how many times uh, we have uh, present this presentation. If we click this one, we have some other option. For example, this is my lesson from grade nine last week. So I still open it because I want my student to reread all the presentation. Here. Okay, here you can also see some useful blog about education. In the second tab, we have session here. So this is more like all the session that you have created uh, in Peer Deck. Okay. So in health, it's it's all about peer deck. If you want to know more about peer deck, actually, it's everything is here. They explain clearly what you have to do in peer deck here. Okay. Now we can start creating a peer deck. Just click this one. So it will go directly to Google Slide. So Google Slides. Let's wait, let's wait a minute. It's actually not so much different with PowerPoint. So if you have to try uh, Google Slide, it's easy to use. Okay, here we enter our new first presentation, for example. Mm. At the beginning, you will have to add, you will have to install add-on for a field deck. So you go to add-ons and then you choose peer deck you install this peer deck so that in your google slide website a web page you will have this kind of peer deck and then when you click it it will show peer deck tabs somewhere here somewhere here so you can see your peer deck tab here okay so let's for example make some slide so here in peer deck uh, add-on we have template li library when you choose this one you can see a lot of templates for example at the beginning of the lesson i can choose one of them for example this one so i choose one of the template and then uh, yeah we have this one and then you can change the question up to you here you can retype the question okay we have also another type of can you take a look at the right uh, during the lesson and of the lesson critical thinking uh, math for example if you want to do the math session you can choose some of the templates here Okay, we have a lot of templates here, okay? Or you can make your own presentation or you can also import from your uh, existing uh, presentation. For example, you can import some slide from other slide, from other course slide that you have created, okay? And then if you want to add a draggable question or something like that, you can choose this one. If you want to make a interactive question, of multiple choice for example you choose this one you click this one so in this slide they will give you multiple choice question you write your option here and then you update to your slide so this slide will become uh, multiple choice uh, interactive question okay and then for example you have finished all the lesson uh, prepare your presentation you can start the presentation here uh, okay in the this green button okay let's see what do we have here so here you can choose whether you want your student to require students login or not at the beginning of your presentation so you can make it on if you want to know who responds what okay and then you can start the presentation here for example
So there are two options here. You can choose student pass activity if you want to give it as homework. Uh, you can choose this instructor pass activity. So if you want to be together. Okay, so let, let's choose this one. You will have this one. You will ask your friend to show the to enter the to enter the code given. Okay, wait a minute. My internet connection. Okay, so we have something like this. Okay, so you can ask your students to join this presentation, for example. So when you present a peer deck, when you present a presentation in peer deck, they, they will show you uh, three different presentations, three different view. The first one is student view, which is what you see in your phone. And then the second one is projector view, which is what you see in our Zoom screen. Okay, so we can view, we can, we can show some responses here and then show also the same slide with student slide but we have also another uh, view which is what we call teacher view so let me take it here so this is teacher view what we can do here in teacher view we can choose some responses to be shown up for example when i give you this question we can choose some good example for example this fox this penguin this a wolf i mean they, they, these are good examples so i will show it i will show three of these to my projector view okay if you didn't choose anything if you didn't choose anything so it will show all of the responses or maybe you can maybe some of your students answer inappropriately so you can hide some response for example you can hide this response so you can hide some of the response because they are not relative uh, they, are, they don't have any relation with our question for example you can hide some of them okay in this uh, in this uh, projector view they will only only choose only view what you choose in the teacher view okay so i think it's easy let's go back here so yeah that's all and then maybe you need to know how to activate student face mode so if you want to change into student face mode you can click this one okay or maybe in the in the middle of your presentation you want to ask new question but you didn't prepare it at the beginning so you can add here new prompt and then you can choose uh, some of the question or you can tell the question uh, via uh, i mean tell directly the question and then you can give option you can only give them some response for example please write your response here so you expand the question and then you let them you let students to answer there in the given one or maybe you can choose another prompt maybe you can also for example let's let move to my next slide for example for example we have this slide for example you want to uh, ask some question but you didn't prepare it so you can open this one new prompt and then you can choose for example drawing so in this slide student can directly draw the what they want to know what they want to draw I mean so you can do it uh, directly also you don't have to prepare since the beginning of the presentation okay mm. i think that's all about build deck Whoa. let's go to our presentation okay oh we need this one we already done we're done with this one so we already explained about this one. Uh, we already explained about how to install it on. We already explained about how to create a build deck class. You can also uh, install add-on in your PowerPoint. So you can PowerPoint also can add on of build deck. Okay, you can install add-on build deck add-on in your PowerPoint. 
Okay, you will learn how to present a feedback. Okay, we learn about student view, teacher dashboard, project view, projector view. Okay, we also learn how to manage student response. Okay, we can just highlight some of the answer. We can hide or block some students' answer. Or maybe we miss this one, time and log responses. So, for example, I will show it later. So we learn also student face mode. Okay, maybe this is some tips. Let's go some. Which which one do we have? Question. Okay, for example, this one. If you want to give some time for students to answer, so just click this lock screen. Okay, you hold them like three seconds. It you will show. We will see three different option here you can give them 30 seconds you can give them one minute or you can give them three minutes so when you just 30 second here when the time is up the the slide will uh, the peer deck will lock your screen student screen so they cannot uh, answer the question anymore it will uh, lock the screen directly so if Actually, Peer Deck is not meant for online learning. They prepared this Peer Deck five years ago. It's for a normal classroom, I mean, for what we do in normal classroom, not online learning. But if you want to use Peer Deck in online learning, you have to do two screen like what I have told you at the beginning. So the step is that you launch your Peer Deck, you open Google Meet or Zoom, and then you display the project view in Google Meet on in zoom and then you ask student to open two browsers split the screen and then you can ask some template there so that's all so now we have finished everything so at the end of the lesson for example you can ask you can take this template from field deck you pretend your friend was absent from the class today please write what you would say if you had to explain the lesson to your friends so I'm intentionally asking you this question, so I want each of you to answer this question. Six of you answer, for example, eight of you try to answer. I can see it for my teacher dashboard here. Okay, let me give you one minute, for example. Okay, I think that's all for Peer Deck. We already tried to cover everything related to Peer Deck. You can explore everything there. It's easy. Let me show the response for example excellent don't worry teacher is also absent what does that mean <laughs> we can see read all the response yes we also record the video but yeah for sign up to feel like yeah so this is we can see some of your uh, students response here yes. okay Okay, let's, I think, how many minutes do we have? Let me have the response again. Okay, we are already done with this one. Minutes. Yeah, we, we have 10 minutes, right? Okay, one last, one last question for you. So, after my explanation about Peer Deck, do you like it? Is it hard or easy for you? So, you can drag your icon to one of them. This is, I just try to, I mean, show you the the use of this feedback. Yeah, okay, let's see. How many of you like feedback? Sorry. What's wrong with this? It's still loading, yeah. 
it's hard for some of you. Some of them don't like feedback at all. It's easy, but I don't like. Yeah, that's your opinion. It's okay. So most of you like feedback. Okay, and sometimes it's easy. Some of you say it's easy. Some of you say it's hard. Okay, it's up to you. Okay. Okay, that's all. Let's move to the next one. Yeah. So I will close my presentation with this quote. So to teach is to learn twice. Yeah, in teacher's perspective, it means that if we want to teach, so we need to learn more. We need to keep learning. And in student's perspective, it means that if we ask them to teach their friends, it means they will get more, more learning opportunity there. Okay, so I think that's all from me, Pasuria. Thank you everybody. If you have any question, you can write in the next slide. Please, Pasuria. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Kiki. Uh, very good presentation. Very interesting. Uh, so after this, we will have Q&A session, which will be conducted on peer deck. Is it, Mr. Yes. Kiki? Is it right? Yeah. If you yeah. Okay. So if you have any question, you can write it directly on your peer deck uh, on the slide next to the slide. Okay. Uh, and then Mr. Kiki will answer it. Some of them, I think. Yeah. So, we will uh, we'll try to just. Are they coming? The questions? Yeah. Some of them are writing the questions. Okay. Uh, while waiting, uh, actually there is some. There's also some questions on group chat. Maybe okay. we can respond yeah. to some of them. Okay. Uh, one Please. of the question is about. Um, do we need to pay for? It? I mean, is it, is it free or? Okay, let me try to, to explain. Okay. Let me try to feedback. explain that. Okay. So, when we log into Pirdek for the first time, they will give you premium access. So until one month, you will have premium access. You will access everything that I have explained in the presentation. But after one month, uh, some of the feature will lose. For example. You, uh, the system will not be able to save the response. So, yeah, the student takes away a feature, they lock it for us. And then also, we cannot also, if it's already, uh, one month is already done, so the we cannot also choose uh, some of the good example. We just can uh, show all the responses. Do you understand what I mean? So that's the difference. That's the main two difference. But uh, apart from that, I think it's still useful for us to use peer deck. I mean, even if we don't have to pay for the peer deck, it's still useful for us, I guess. Okay. Okay. Uh, another question coming, or, or we have another question? We have. Uh, here, yeah. Uh, let me show you some of them. Uh, okay, it's coming. Okay. Then. Yeah. Let's, for example, let's choose this question. What is the challenge for a teacher who first time use peer deck? Could you give tips for according to your experience? Yeah, at the beginning of my uh, use my presentation using peer deck, so I don't know that I have to to show them the projector view. So I only give them uh, the student view. So they don't they didn't see the response. So after that then i re i read some more uh, tutorials then i have to show it so that they can see the responses okay so the problem is that sometimes student in the internet connection is not so good so when they try to move to the next slide they they have to wait so so during that time you can ex you can ask students to see your projector view because the question is already there so while waiting to that presentation in their peer deck, they can read the question uh, in the projector view, in the Zoom screen that we share. We, we share. Okay, I think that's answer the question. You can try first with your uh, teacher, with your friends. Okay, so before you try for students, you can conduct some simulation with your uh, teachers, your friends. Can we see the name of the student on the result? Yes. So if you require students to log in, okay, in teacher dashboard, you can see uh, the student names there. So for example, Paisak is trying to answer this question like this, blah, blah, blah. But in projector view, when we show the response, 
we uh, they will not show the name so that student don't feel shy about their answer okay so for example this one somebody write this one in in my dashboard in my other screen i can see the names but here we only see uh, the question okay how much time we got another question here okay yeah four minutes okay so i for example how much how much time need to prepare the presentation actually if you already have the presentation in your material presentation in your uh, computer so you can use that you can you just have to add some interactive question like using multiple choice using workable question so you don't you don't, you don't have to start it from zero okay yeah it takes time yeah but we need to prepare okay i miss i miss many trips to, to my condition here at home can i have yeah you can also join our google classroom there we share our materials from since the beginning of the first webinar so you can see the first webinar materials there the second materials and the next materials there okay so you can join our google classroom okay let's see another question Yeah, some of them are similar, but we have this question. While students here us from Zoom, they also reach field like while learning, aren't they? Will they be confused? No, no. Uh, in my experience, uh, they 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 just skip the what is it Zoom screen? They just focus to their screen, student screen. I mean, they will learn. They will adapt with our new uh, field like activity, I guess. Okay, we have another question. We have, we have, we need to have two screen. Is it compatible from Android? Yes, you can open, join. Uh, you can open, peer deck from mobile phones. But we cannot. I don't know whether it's possible. If Pasula, can you open Zoom and uh, peer deck at the same time in your phone? I haven't tried it. My phones, I haven't tried it. Okay. Uh, I can do it in my computer, but I don't know. Mm. I need to try it okay. first. Okay. So, the, uh, my last, uh, there is a uh, last question. Let me show it to you after this. We have two screens. Is it compatible? No, no, this one. Can all, which one is it? This one. Can all of feature in Pill Deck be used if I open it from my phone? Yes, I couldn't give uh, my response at the beginning. Uh, maybe that's because the internet connection. So you will have to wait uh, more time so that they load the presentation, the canvas for the drawing, for example. It takes time if the inter internet connection is not stable. Okay. Okay, and Mr. I Kiki, I think all. we are out yeah. of time. Okay. Yeah. I think that's all. Okay, thank you. Uh, uh, we are very sorry we cannot answer all of your questions, but if you have any questions regarding Peer Deck, you can ask directly to Mr. Kiki after this. Uh, yeah, yes. Yeah. Uh, can we, Mr. Kiki? Yes. You can also ask the question Where in our Google Classroom. You? you can uh, also yeah, write it uh, in Google Classroom. It's like our communication platform. Yes, uh, I, I would also like to remind you that we have Google Classroom for our webinar. There you can find all of our resources, uh, according, uh, including this one and also the previous one. And also for the next, uh, uh, later, yeah, later for the next presentation. Yes. Uh, I will share the class code on the group chat. Here's the class code for our Google Classroom. And also you can follow our Telegram channel. Channel. There you can also find our material uh, and our Telegram channel is t.me slash adversal. You can also follow us there. Uh, okay. That's it for me. Uh, Mr. Kiki, do you have anything else to say? Yeah. In the last side of our field day presentation, I, I give you a feedback form. So, uh it would be better if you fill this before the the 
session ends. Oh. Okay. Okay. So okay that... Before. Uh, yeah. Uh, so we uh, we would ask you to fill uh, your response in for our uh, questionnaire. Yeah. You can do it on our feedback session. Yes. Okay. Directly. You see the Google uh, form there. Please fill the question. Okay, I think that's all from me. Thank you very much, Pak Surya, and everybody. Thank you for joining our webinars. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Kiki, uh, and thank you very much for all of you for joining us in our webinar. Uh, don't forget to join our next week webinar, which is about Class Dojo. Uh, thank you. Uh, have a nice day and don't forget to stay healthy. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much.